I, uh, I was driving over from Dayton today and I heard on NPR, I always have NPR on, and I heard uh, uh, that Right to Life was just really upset about um, Ed's asking me to join him and run as lieutenant governor. And those of you in the room who know me know how upset that I am and feel bad that Right to Life is so upset about this. But uh, the truth is that I am a strong advocate on women's issues. But, you know, almost all the time we see the Republicans trying to just make women's issues about abortion rights and to reduce all discussions to talk about abortion because they know that that's an issue that divides a lot of folks in Ohio. The truth is that women's issues are more than uh, abortion rights issues. Uh, women's issues are family issues, and women's issues are economic issues and things that are um, uh, holding us back from growing the state of Ohio. When women in this state make what, 23 cents on the dollar less than a man for a comparable uh, job? That's not just a women's issue. That is a family issue. That is an Ohio economic issue. That is holding Ohio back. And when women in this state, thousands of women in need, can't go to the organization they trust to provide pap smears and mammograms and birth control and all the health care needs that they have simply because that organization is named Planned Parenthood and the Republicans don't like the fact that for decades Planned Parenthood has stood up and, and advocated for women and women's reproductive health care rights. That is wrong. Um, you know, Yesterday I spoke to a wise friend and she told me that she was really tired of hearing about all of these negative things and that we ought to be talking about all the amazing things that uh, Ohio and women in Ohio have accomplished over, gee, just think about in my lifetime what we have seen and everything that uh, uh, women have become in the state of Ohio. And I agree with her. I want to talk about all of those positive things. But the problem is that for the last three years, women have been trying to move forward in this state with one hand tied behind our backs. And that hand was tied behind our backs by John Kasich and the Republican-controlled legislature. I know because a lot of you in this room were there either covering it or you were there at participating that we had a rally in October on the steps of the State House. And uh, I was privileged to be the MC for that event, and lots of great speakers were there. But we were there to protest Governor Kasich's budget and what the state-controlled legislature, the Republican-controlled legislature, did in the dead of the night to, act, uh, to prevent women's access to the health care services that they need. You know, that rally was called We Won't Go Back. And that's what I'm here to say to you all again today. Ohio women's lives should be about hope and promise and dreams realized. And Ed Fitzgerald and I and the rest of this great slate of the candidates that we have on the Democratic side are going to stand at the side of Ohio's women. We are going to have the backs of Ohio's women, and we are not going to be holding Ohio's women back uh, from doing everything in their power to move forward and do what's right for their family, themselves, their families, and Ohio.